I know this song and dance. I guess we're gonna have to go to where Monokuma is telling us and see about our second motive that we're gonna get. Unless it's gonna be something completely different. Let's see. Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can! Come on, hurry up! Okay, okay. Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night! Curry rice, you say? Hmm. Come on! Okay, Jesus Christ. Calm down. We're going to go there. Jesus. It kind of feels like uh, something really big is in, is happening right now. Not some sort of second motive or something. Curry rice, huh? It feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Mm. No. No, Hajime. No. Don't you even think about it. <laughs> Just You never know what uh, Monokuma might put inside that curry rice. Like, <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe he's going to put some judgment juice inside of it. It is great, but uh, it's suspicious. Wait, who would actually fall for that? I don't know what he's planning this time around. I don't know, but he is telling us to hurry the fuck up for some reason. But there's no way I can ignore it. Jepperwork Park again, huh? Okay, well, I guess we shall go. Let's ch let's uh, try not to get there first. Just, we should hurry up, but... Let's not be the first ones to go there. I don't know about that curry rice. But there's Kazuichi there. Hmm. And Mikan here too. Okay, what's up? Mikan? You heard the announcement, right? Uh, I'm sorry I'm such a slow poke. I'll head over to the park right away. Um, but I'm not being slow on purpose. I tried to leave my cottage as soon as I heard the announcement. Uh, I tripped again. Again? Oh man. You know, I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. People are probably thinking, <clears throat> if you have time for that, then hurry up. Oh my god. I cannot do a Mikan voice as of late. My throat is so clogged up with uh, phlegm that it's just weird. I cannot I cannot really do like a like a high pitch but at the same time really really low mm, i don't know that girl she tripped again she seriously is, she seriously is so pitiful Ah oh, man well don't say that i mean there's got to be a way for uh for us to help mikan in terms of not tripping and all that well i guess she's tripping because she is so nervous at times that she that she trips mm. i wish that we can help her but Kazuichi, what's up? Did you hear the announcement? <laughs> Why did I have to listen to that announcement? If I didn't listen to it, then I wouldn't have to respond to that annoying summons. That's impossible. Those speakers are set up throughout the island, you know. Not only that, an excuse like I wasn't paying attention won't work on Monokuma. Hey! hey! Why are you scaring me? Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! I don't wanna. I don't wanna go. Oh, come on, uh, Kazuichi. Sonia is gonna be there. Maybe something will happen there. So, he wanted someone to back him up so he could step forward. I sort of understand how he feels. Mm, okay, well, at least we helped him. We pushed him a little bit to go to Jabberwork Park, but... Um, let's see, is somebody else over here? I do have to wonder about that. <laughs> Nagito is still there. Okay. I... Okay. Well, let's just leave him be there. <laughs> Maybe Nagito is gonna get the... Some sort of punishment for not coming to the announcement and all that. Well, not death punishment, but, you know... Something that will, uh... That, uh, Monokuma is gonna enjoy quite a lot. But let's go to the central island. <laughs> and see, is there somebody else around here? Hmm... Okay. Monokuma, what now? I was preparing myself for some good old sleep. Now you're making us go through this. Yahoo! Yahoo! I'm the first one here. The car is all mine. Well, good for you, <laughs> Akane. And I was second too. Like, I, I don't see like anybody else besides Akane and me. Oh, good thing that Hajime wasn't the last, wasn't the first one. She totally took the bait. Indeed! I wonder what kind, of, what kind of curry it is. You too. Hey, hey! Sonia! 
What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you saying? You guys are fucking stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. Bastard! Bastard! Hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out here! Thank you for waiting! Okie dokie! Thanks for waiting! Thanks for the miracle of waiting! Okay, well, everybody is all here. Right. Besides Nagito and all that. Hey, Monokuma! I was the first one here! That means I got dibs on the curry! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? No need to rush, no need to rush, no need to rush, no need to rush. I'll probably treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? What? It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. Hey. I don't know about that mysterious rice there. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Maybe if you sprinkle some judgment juice on it, it's gonna be even better. No worries, it takes skill to make curry nasty. Good instinct. <laughs> that is truly a nice line, but it is meaningless. You feed. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare, understand? Go, my four dark <laughs> savers of destruction! <laughs> It's just like, every single time he does that, it just makes me smile. <laughs> if this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Wah -wah? Oh, huh? You haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summoned you guys... If you look closely at this bar, you should be able to notice. Eh? Ah, totally. We have a giant TV over there. And, uh, an arcade machine? Huh? Well, I guess that's definitely something. Pico Pico! What's up? Is your stomach feeling okay right now? It seems Monokuma is up to something. What a, what is he planning this time? I do have to wonder. Ah! Oh. <laughs> She's looking! She's looking at something right now! Could he be... maybe... maybe? Could he be a maybe maybe? I don't know. What's going on? Monokuma, what is he planning to make us do this time? I do have to wonder. Mono, mono, mono? You haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summoned you guys. Um, um, it looks like there's a television, like object over there. I wonder what it is. Curry, huh? you must be a dim, using the scent of curry to cause a chain reaction. A chain reaction of chaos. The curry will start the chaos once again. Add to that a little bit of Nagito and we are all doomed. <laughs> People will feel like they have no choice but to eat curry. <laughs> oh, horrifying. Hey, hey! I agree with that part. What's the scientific term for that too? Jeez. Why do you care about scientific terms at this point, Ibuki? <laughs> Seriously, who the fuck cares? This is lame. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, Fuyuhiko. You cannot deny the the godly taste of curry at times. You gotta admit, come on. Don't be so tough. I see. You certainly prepared an intriguing tribute. <laughs> I shall give you a pass on becoming food. What does he mean? Does this guy actually know? Uh, hmm. All right. I might be pushy, but that curry is gonna be mine. She is very pushy. Well, I can't do anything for food. <laughs> she has a nose like a dog, so she might even run around in circles three times and bark. <laughs> um, On to more pressing matters. What kind of curry is it going to be? Earless... Earless seal curry? Stellar sea lion curry? Or perhaps it is actually bear curry? The bear curry. <laughs> Probably something among the lines of bear curry, yeah. Why is she coming with such questionable curry choices? Yeah. Well, aren't we all interested at least? Just the name Monokuma curry makes my appetite drop to zero. In fact, it's in the negatives. <laughs> well, now that it matters to Akane, her attitude is basically... If I can eat it, it's good enough. Okay, is curry actually gonna be the, our second motive here or what? What is the deal oh, with this curry? My. Oh my my! What the heck is that? There's a TV over there! Is that a curry? 
Is it a TV fat curry? <laughs> Surely. You can nom 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 on it. Oh, he's fucking summoning us. So, so what is this? What is it this time? Uh, I don't know, but let's. I guess we shall check and see. Uh, the arcade machine. What is this? Uh, isn't this an arcade machine? Correct. <laughs> That's correct. Thank you for waiting. So I would like the longer way that I would like the longer way the recreation time to begin. Don't tell me. You're going to tell us to play this game? Uh, hey, what's the game? What games are on this? Well, figured as much that the Chucky would be interested in this. But... No, Chucky! No! This is a trap! Don't do it! <laughs> Don't do it, Chucky! Don't die on me! She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. Hmm. Uh, it does say Danganronpa 2 Twilight Syndrome. Hmm. Forbidden Urban, urban Land Legend. Hmm, I don't know. I've only prepared one game, but it's surely a gem. Yeah. <laughs> After all, it's a game that I prom I personally created. Y you created a game, eh? Then, then it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. What the hell? <laughs> How dare you! No, no, don't get compared to those amateur fan service games. She I mean, what is this, Danganronpa 2? You know, that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. Famous game? I shall now present. Now then, I shall present it. Uh. Ta-da! Oh my the god. The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. <sighs> Why is Hope Speak Academy in the background there? Ta-da! The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Well, it is a murder case. <laughs> what, Profe Professor Layton? Or Pokemon? Stupid! Don't say such silly things! What if we get weighed down by all the quarters? Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was, re was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side scroller. I have no interest in a weak things in weak things like video games. You're saying that it is they has been released in 1996? How old is Monokuma right now? And I don't even know what generation of game that uh, that old is. With your face, I find that hard to believe. Boring. But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? Hey, come on! They're not boring! They're adventurous, come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're always making me hate you a little bit more inside, Kyoko. Don't just adventure games! Besides, there's a lot of reason to make one. No, no! You know, like budgetary reasons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Chucky is disappointed. Man, and I was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the cities. What are you saying? <laughs> oh, oh god, Chiaki's in trouble right now. Should you be trained tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I've cast a spotlight on a neglected T title. TD? Title! Neglected title! No titties! This isn't a fair fan service game! And what's the point of this game? Hmm? Huh? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? <laughs> you certainly not as the good part. That's right. This game is gonna be your next motive. Hmm. The motive you need to kill people. After all, I'm gonna get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. Could it be? This game is the motive. Actually. And true. This game's theme is a missing link. A missing link? You know, it's a recurring thing for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. I see. Well, given the fact that it is a murder mystery type game, yeah. Um, what does that mean? Here! 
If you're interested, then try playing it. Uh, okay. Hey. You can't. You're gonna say no. It's a trap. Hey, hey if that's the motive, would it be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> Wait, wh what is uh, Monokuma trying to do with this? So, we're gonna play the game and then what? Are we gonna get a reward for that? Like, is he gonna tell us something? What is gonna What is gonna happen if somebody is gonna play the game? <laughs> That's absolutely right. You're quite the genius. I see. That never occurred to me. But, but are you sure you wanna do that? Learning the motive means you're gonna be prepared, you know? Humans who are prepared, and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? Ah, oh, I see. So by playing this game, we're gonna learn the motive. The second motive. You. What do you mean? <laughs> For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. Watch out! Watch out! And the contest of a PM to strike. That's truly fatal! <laughs> hey, hey. What do you mean? <laughs> you guys are all enemies, you know? Is it really alright for your enemy for your enemy to have an advantage? Mm. If you're going to just ignore it, then do whatever you like, even if you're fully aware of the situation. Well, what it, what happens if nobody is gonna play the game? Well, uh, what kind of question is, th is that? What kind of question is that? Of course, somebody is gonna play it and learn the motive. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, well, there's that. So, eh, Twilight Syndrome. What the heck? This is bad. You know, I would be tempted to play it myself, given the fact that it is a murder murder case. But it is an arcade game, though. What kind of? I mean, how good is the game? I and mean, what kind of mysteries will we have? I prefer not to risk it myself. Hey, what should we do? But... Even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway. anyway, it would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There is no mistaking that. Maybe if we throw it in the ocean? <laughs> uh, actually, no. That would violate the rule of littering, I guess. Right. Well, we could just destroy it, right? Would that be considered extreme violence or littering as well? You are right. Might be better if we wait and see how this plays out. But, but wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we were waiting? Whoever gets the motive would become the hunter, and the rest of us would be the prey. That's a messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? But it is true. It's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if you want to win. Uh, again, you're gonna go with this vehicle? I don't want to end up like Byakui our character. After Fuyuko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. Yep, he is surely gonna be one to... to learn about the motive by playing the game at some point. But, but Fuyuko means a good point. Huh? You too? What are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? Cause, cause... Okay, it's not just that, man. I mean, come on. Don't be so... Don't jump to conclusions like that. It's not like that. I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know the motive? Hmm. That... that might be true, but... I mean, we could play the game and learn about the motive and just try to do nothing, but can we trust each other on that? I mean, I myself would trust myself in terms of learning the motive and never killing somebody. Like, you know. Hmm. Nope. It doesn't matter. Eh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let any another killing happen. Killing. I'll never allow it. Hmm. Well, I can totally get behind that, Chiaki. I totally agree. Killing is never an option, no matter what. And I guess that's that. Okay. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. 
Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Huh? It's already that time, huh? It's better if we just break for today. Hmm. I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct for, the correct thing for me to do. But, but regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Um. Now you can never trust anyone fully. You just never know. Me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. Then we should turn in for the day. I'll see you tomorrow. Burned by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still. That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. Hmm. She... I guess that means she's determined to not let anyone die. She is... Uh, she is gonna fight for that, no matter what. That's... A very good way of thinking, Chiaki. I will never, ever let anyone, let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but... Sleepy. But... I can't read her at all. Hmm... <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're gonna try our best to not let any killing happen again, but... It will happen. It just... It will happen. Like, no matter what happens, Monokuma is always gonna find a way for... Uh, for him to motivate us even more... To kill somebody. I know that. Even if this motive will never work, or... Even if this motive will never work... But uh, something tells me it will work. A motive to kill someone, huh? He's doing nothing at all correct? Or it's trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger correct? Yeah, that is true. There could be that if we learn about the motive, we can try and prevent somebody else from killing. If we know about the motive. Maybe. Just maybe. Hmm... There's no way I'd understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. Well, in this messed up world, we're never gonna know what's right. Like, always, but hey, at least we have a monocoma feeder. You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I suggest the people who aren't successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely is definitely your past successes. Those always hold me back all the time. And so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do anything they want without worrying about anything. That's all from Theater. Man, being successful is tough. I'll be here to rule the world. For you will fall into despair. Hey, Okuma! <laughs> uh, oh no, that... That's it. I'm not gonna go through this again. I'm tired of it. I need some answers, damn it. And the panda bastard knows it too well. Monokuma! Yes? Monokuma, what is the deal with this? I keep having these dreams over and over again, even after the events of the first killing game. And I know for a fact that he knows something about this. First it was the dreams, next was the judgment juice, and not a bunch of crap. What does it all mean? Are you trying to say something here? Are you telling me something about my stolen memories? That I was actually working for you in the name of despair, and you kept doing all this stupid crap to make me remember? Is that it? In that case it won't work. The past is history, and the future is a mystery. Well you know what? Today is a gift. That is why it's called a present. Even if there was a possibility of me working for the mastermind. I am myself, and nothing you will do will make me a different person than who I am, cause I am Detective Nobby, and in the name of the Kirigiri family and the Detective Code, I shall do- Have you ever heard of the Wushi Finger Hold? Or the Wushi Tongue Hold? Ugh, it's cuddly.
So you know, don't you? Want me to show you? You, you buffer. You buffer. They just need to be in the fix. You can fix it now. Skadoosh. What just happened? Did I just get whooshy fingered or tongued? <coughs> what is going on? I feel weird. <coughs> <laughs> oh, how splendid. I feel alive more than ever. <laughs> oh. What the? What is. What is going on? Oh, how much pity I can have for you. You are really making me puke, you know. <laughs> Such a pussy way of thinking. What the fuck are you? Who are you? I am you, of course. The real you. The real me? Ah, uh, yeah. You just don't remember because the mastermind stole our memories. So it was true. I was working for the mastermind. But then, how come I didn't know? Why... Why was I thrown into this? Trying to save everyone without knowing all of this? <sighs> how pitiful of you to not remember. Stuff like this is why such a big thread like Nagito is still alive now. You don't even remember the type of cereal box you ate yesterday morning. What? You always try to think of other ways other than killing when you know it is the best solution for someone like him. Trying to understand him? There is no such thing as understanding him. And if you do want to learn about him, then what? Change his ways of thinking? Try to make him understand that it hurts us? That it hurts everyone and tell him that he should stop? He will never change. And even so, what if he knows that what he's doing is wrong and just wants to kill us all? You... You, you are already starting to piss me off. Am I? Well, that is good. You see me as a threat too, as I expected. You want to protect your friends, but how long is that gonna last? You really think trying to understand Nagito is gonna be the key to your solution? Me personally, I'm just waiting for the day when he will be accused of murder and he will be punished. The sensation of revealing the absolute truth to everyone that Nagito is the killer and have revenge against him for killing one of your friends is the best feeling ever. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> it makes me tingle inside. You... Let's be honest here. You thought of that too, didn't you? Uh... And again, let's be honest. Today when you went to see Nagito, you really didn't want to talk to him. You much prefer the company of your more... normal students. Of your normal friends. You are scared of him. You know he is a big friend. And you know there is nothing you can do. So you said, fuck him! I, I, I don't know who you are, but you, you, no, matter, no matter what, you will be stopped. Oh, I would like to see you try. <laughs> Ahem! Hope 
Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Hmm. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Hmm. All right, it in. I should go to the restaurant for now yeah let's go maybe something really bad happened by now as if by habit I left my college and I just so happened to bump into a certain someone a uh, vehicle what are you doing here huh oh it's you vehicle how lucky I have to see your face this morning just so you know I don't want to talk to you at all I'm in a really bad mood right now. <sighs> it's not like you're going to the restaurant now, right? What are you planning to go somewhere else? Shut up. Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my college. Leave me alone. You say you're going back. Did you go somewhere? It's got nothing to do with you. Okay, fine, fine, Jesus. Is it that game? What? Yeah, don't you hurt me. Was it that game? Did you come from the Jeb? Did you come from Jeb Over Park? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Sh you. Sh shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? I have all the right to question you, Fuyuhiko. Where did you get that envelope? I'm not trying to question you. I was just. Me being a detective that has gone through a lot is enough reason for you to spill spill the beans, little boy. Now tell me! Are you saying you don't like the fact I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that, huh? Are you gonna tie me up like Nagito? So... <sighs> Sis, I didn't mean that. Dumbass. Don't talk to me ever again! If you do, I swear I'll fucking kill you! Yeah, he probably will attempt to kill you right now, Hajime. Now that he know a little too much. That guy, he's gonna be dangerous if we leave him alone. Yeah, maybe if we should tie him up too, I don't know. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Uh, I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Yeah, probably. Mm, okay, well, Gundam... Or, Pickle, let me just talk to you first. What are you doing, Pickle? I did see Fuhiko earlier, but it seems he isn't going to join us for breakfast today as well. I have some things I'd like to think about. I'm going to go for a little walk. Okay, well, you go ahead. Hotel Mirai, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Gundam? This too must be the will of causality. This too must be the will of causality. The wind is very quiet. I do hope it is not an ominous portent. Mm. Well, things are gonna get a little bit intense from now on. Now that, now that we know the motive. And I don't think I am able to talk to Nagito right now either, so pff, let's just go to a hotel. However, I am interested in talking to you a little bit more, Chucky. Well? Apparently Mikan has never played video games before. She's totally missing out on 90% of her life. <laughs> Heck yeah! Well, you know, value is very from person to person. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Hajime! Hajime! Please listen to me! Yeah, well, well, well what just happened? Oh, Chucky taught me how to play a video game. She was so nice and attentive. And, and, she even battled against me. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, so, so happy. I was able to play with a friend. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chucky. You think so? You don't have to thank me that much. I had a lot of fun too. Hey, hey. If you like, do you want to battle one more time? <gasps> yes, yes, please. 
<laughs> quote unquote battle. Mikan looks extremely happy. I guess Jackie has a sweet side too. Well, she has a sweet side too. What, are you, what the fuck are you talking about, Hajime? Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, she didn't have a sweet side before too? Anyway. Uh, Mahiro. You're the only one here? Ah, oh, nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting? Huh? Hey. Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is... Is this someone's breakfast? Uh... Is that for Nagito? <laughs> some bread and some milk, eh? I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve. Hmm. Like, how long are they planning to continue like this? Well, there's no way we can, we can keep him tied up forever. <laughs> Unless we can we can have him tied up even during class trial. Just like with Sa just like with Sami. Uh, like Nakito is gonna stay right near Sami too, both tied up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought at first. What you thought about uh, letting him tied up even class trial? That would be just funny. <laughs> I mean he is still gonna talk after all. Unless somebody's gonna put like a like a bandage in his mouth. But maybe it's better if he was tied up forever. Hmm? What does that mean? I actually went to see Nagito earlier. I kinda brought him breakfast. Jeez. And then, listen to this. He seriously pisses me off. <gasps> no. No, this can't be. Nagito pissing you off with the way he talks and laughs and has his visions and wants somebody to kill him? No, that's just... That's just stupid. Do you understand? Oh, okay, okay. No, I'm, I'm just... I'm just talking here, I'm just ch making some jokes over here, all, all sarcastic and all that, just don't be mad. He said he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? Well, yeah. Maybe he knew that he would get tied up at some point, so... Yeah. I guess it is his right to... I guess, uh, I guess that's why he wanted something even better. He doesn't like rice, I guess. So that's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard for you. Really? Hard? Do you really think so? Hey, hey! Then bring this to Nagato on my behalf. Huh? Jeez. Wait. I said hard. What makes you think that I should uh, bring this to him and not you? I was forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his maid. And not only that, I just remembered that I have a little business to take care of. Business? Thank you. So, thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. Mahiro pushed the tray into my hands and ran away before I could object. <laughs> ran away before she could object. Yeah. Something tells me that this is more than just Nagito not liking, ri not liking rice. Jeez, it's always something. As I recall, he's tied up at the old building where the murder took place, right? Uh, Sassy? <laughs> I'm the one who is gonna have to bring this to Nagito? Like, Hajime is gonna want- is gonna be the one to do this? I, uh... Like, I don't know, uh, Um... Girls? What are you guys- what are you gals doing? That's Nagito's food, right? <laughs> you should feel honored that Mahira asked you to bring him that, so you better feed him quickly. She says that like he's a pet. That's kind of harsh. Well, it is harsh, but... Mm. Mahiro! Why did you run away? Hey, what are you doing? You kind of forced this on me, you know. Hey. Don't say I forced you. You're the one who agreed to do it, right? Did Nagito actually do that? <laughs> no, he didn't. Jeez. Anyway, I have some things to do too. But Hiyoko said, Jeez. Hajime, you're on the way. Mahiro and I are gonna go to the supermarket right now. <laughs> and after that, we're gonna shower each other once again. We're gonna wash each other once again. We're gonna get candy for each other, right? Hey. I, I know, I know. But don't cling to me like that. It's hard to walk, okay? Hey, hey. Then can we still hold hands? <laughs> Okay, well, this is actually nice. 
But I really can't spend too much time with you, okay? I have some things I need to take care of. Aww. Oh, so boring. Now let's ditch Hajime already and go. Thank you. Well then, Hajime, I'll leave it to you. Hyoko is totally attached to Makiru. They kind of look like sisters. Hmm, a little bit, yeah. I mean, uh, one could say that Mahiru's hatred for boys and Hyoko's uh, douchebaggery... They may be like sisters, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I don't know where I'm going with that, but uh, Kazuichi? Kazuichi, can you help me a little bit over here? Can you... Can you go and uh, bring this uh, breakfast to, uh, to Nagito? I'm a little bit uh, busy over there. Bye! Uh, man, it's not like me to sleep in. Oh, what's with that tray? Are we gonna eat somewhere with a nice view? Hey, hey. hey don't tell me. Hey. I'm not gonna have a picnic lunch with Miss Sonia, are you? <laughs> oh, go. Oh, gee. I have been found. No. I I have been... Uh, I, I'm sorry, Miss, Mr. Kazuichi. I... I I kind of captured Miss Sonia's heart. Sorry, man. It's not even lunch time. This is breakfast for Nagito. Wow. Oh, I see. So I had trouble with taking care of him, man. If you really mean that, want to switch with me? Hmm. Whoa, that's obviously a little awkward. <laughs> How did you handle it, Hajime? Bye. He <laughs> he ran away. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> Uh, uh. I cannot even read this. Alright, well, let's go. I think I am a little... You can't. Hey, Wasami, what's up? Can you bring this uh, little breakfast to Nagito, please? In the Instead of... Like, I have some business to do, so... No, no, no! This whole building is being renovated! You can't go inside! D again What is with your fascination of renovating this building in the first place? If I'm not in allowed inside, why is Nagito inside? Oh, uh, you know about it too, Hajime? Um... Yes, Nikuman and Kazuichi only told me that Monami is the only one we can rely on. Ah, so that's why you accepted uh, the guard duty of not le letting anybody in besides them. Despite Nagito being all tied up, you're not gonna say anything about that, eh, Wasami? That friends should not tie up each other, tie each other up like that? But no, it's the fact that Wasami is the one that we can rely on the most that makes you blind to this fact. And it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starting to death, right? Hey, the storm! Oh, well, 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 well. It's okay to go inside, then? Yes, make sure you tell him to chill fully before he swallows. Wait, what? Wait, but didn't... Oh, Mahiro lied to me! I thought that uh, Mahiru came here as well. But no, it's just that... It was all just a trick. <laughs> oh my god, okay. That's why Usami never... Like, uh, for Usami, this was a surprise that Nagito came here... Like, Hajime came here to bring breakfast to Nagito. It was a surprise to Usami. Because uh, Nahiro didn't even come here in the first place. Oh man. So Nagito's tied up at the back. Instinctively, I got back my dried saliva. Uh. Hold on a second. Alright, well. I do have my... Uh, my detective outfit over here. I mean, I have it because it will make me feel a little bit more powerful inside if I wear this too, so... Uh, just to be prepared and all that. Why am I so nervous? 
Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously opened the door to the dining room. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating over, over here. Maybe he is just gonna talk all normally and all that. Maybe he's gonna spill some bullshit and all that, but... He is tied up, after all. It's not like anything bad would happen. Maybe I'm gonna get angry a little bit, but... Eh, let's just get this over with. I don't think it's gonna be that... It's gonna be that too big of a deal. As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Hajime? Uh, hello, Nagito. Uh, could it be... Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? To little old me. Wow, I'm so happy. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality. But feel free to relax. He was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help feeling at that moment. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kinda scary. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. So come on, eat it. Oh, you're not going to feed me. No, just... Just take the spoon yourself and eat it. What do you mean? Well, I can't eat it on my own. You know, since my hands are all tied up. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me. So I'm glad you're the one who came. Oh, I get it. Freaking Mahiru. That must be why she asked me to go instead of her. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? By the way, I heard about... Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? Oh god. I have mixed feelings. I really liked that game a lot. D don't change the subject! I'm asking you- Oh well, I'm a little disappointed. It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. Uh. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? <sighs> well, that is... You guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. He almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't the solution. I'm just putting it off. Hmm. I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime, weren't you planning to feed me? Hey, Hajime. <laughs> That was even more... That was even... Ugh, that was just scary. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Damn it. I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling so well. Jesus Christ, man. He is filled with darkness inside. But I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone? While I'm doing nothing about it? While I'm doing nothing about it, someone else is... No. Nothing good can come from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. And that is free time! I guess that's nice, but yeah! <laughs> we had that little... discussion with Nagito. It definitely makes you think a little bit. About the situation. Like, even more, but... <laughs> freaking Mahiro. He tricked... Like, she tricked me into... Bringing uh, Nagito breakfast and all that, but yeah, uh, I guess so. But next time we're gonna be um, talking to some more people, and uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it.